Check it. All right, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero, and in this video, we're going to be looking at AMC stock, AMC stock only. In this video, we're going to be updating you guys on the bars pattern, where we are at with everything, exactly what's going on, what to expect from AMC stock, what I'm looking at. We're going to look at the fundamental analysis, the technical analysis, and guys, I have more hard hitting proof that Adam Aaron and the reverse stock split is no good. I messaged that account myself and I have the DMs and the receipts to prove it. It is time for apes to wake up, but you cannot play the game if you don't know the rules. And that's why I'm going to keep dropping this hard hitting information, even though people are telling me they're going to unsubscribe just for me trying to tell the truth. Guys, I have the evidence and the receipts and I keep dropping these hard hitting information videos. So without wasting any more time, you guys wanna see this whole video and not waste a second, but let's go ahead and hop in the charts, the facts, the data, and see what we have going on. What's up, you are back for another video with Data Zero and I wanted to wait until we got a little bit more price action for today before I put out this video. That way I could include more technical analysis in the video, but that's going to have to wait till later. I am going to update you quickly on the bars pattern and where we are at with everything before I dive into this video. But guys, we have official evidence that Adam Aaron is not on our side so anyone doubting it after this i don't know what to tell you this is a neutral party this is not an amc ape account this is a neutral party someone that watches the court cases every single day and they have seen evidence from the courts that adam aaron is not on our side i asked hello thank you for all you're doing but i basically asked is adam aaron morally right um or is he against retail and apes best interest and she said Basically, yes. Yes, and I published most of what I did, and I did cover this last time. And because how he was bragging about how he helped Wanda Group screw over a group of people and all of that stuff, this shows characteristics of moral disjustice. So as you guys can see, Adam Aaron was described in a way as of being disappointing, disturbing, and beyond fathom. That is the way the CEO is demonstrated divided, divided loyalties. The CEO clearly demonstrated divided loyalties that members of the special committee described as disappointing, disturbing, and beyond fathom. Guys, this is the CEO of AMC. He is not on our side. It might appear like he's on our side because he wants the company to do well, but he is not on retail side. I said it once and I'll say it again. If he can get shorts to cover without having the MOAS, so shorts don't implode, and then he can just point back to his tweets and say, see guys, I told you there was no manipulation. Look at my tweets from such and such date. And they'll be like, oh yeah, look, look, they said he was no manipulation. And the Adam Aaron lovers will still say he is not a bad person. I keep providing more and more evidence that the reverse split is no good. Adam Aaron himself said he wouldn't even do the reverse split. I dropped a video the other day, dropping the clip where he said in 2021 he would never do a reverse stock split. And now he wants to do it like he is compromised or like somebody threatened him or like he is paid off or compromised in one way way or another it is time for apes to wake up and this is absolute proof right here for you guys and i dropped absolute proof because adam aaron himself said the reverse stock split was no good and i also dropped other videos explaining why the reverse stock split was no good because it erases the ftds by changing the qsip number that erases the ftds it allows shorts to cover during the conversion process leaving us hold the bag and then they will short the new price back down making money and leaving retail hold the bag that is not what we want now let's go ahead and look at the bars pattern and see where we're at because i believe shorts are absolutely desperate that's why they're putting out fud with the seeking alpha article i made a video on how the seeking alpha article was fud how they used 1.1 million short shares to bring the stock down and we seen this big down day the other 
day. Now, I have this bars pattern from the 2020 run-up. This bars pattern has been playing out for nine days, and if it continues to play out, this will be the 10th day. Now, it called for that big down day that we've seen Friday, which we see now, and now it's calling for a bounce around this 520, 525 level, then a little bit of a pullback, consolidation, and a pump to the up side now if this goes off track i will disinvalidate it and say it is no longer in play but as of now as long as amc stays in this 530 550 range in this 5 4, 4 50 range and consolidates i'm expecting a large move to the up side now also, the technical analysis on the bigger time frames is telling me a big move is coming for AMC. As you guys can see, I have the alligator on the weekly time frame. The alligator has a green line and a blue line. As you guys can see, this green line is starting to curl up and move to the upside. Now, it's not on the upside yet, but this is the weekly time frame. The bigger pictures, this is what you want to look at. And as you guys can see, it's starting to curl up, and that means we are gaining bullish momentum. Now, another thing I want you to look at is the green MACD on the weekly time frame. The green MACD, last time we had that aligned with the Bollinger Bands constricting like they are right now. We have the Bollinger Bands getting super tight on the weekly time frame and constricting, letting us know that a massive move is coming for amc stock so let's go ahead and put on the bollinger bands and see what we are looking at right now so go ahead and pop on the bands and as you guys can see they are constricting getting extremely tight as of now last time they did this we had the run up to all-time highs and the run up to about twenty dollars but after the split it did change but we had this run up here this run up to all-time highs and then the run up you guys seen before it so we had the bollinger bands constrict getting very very tight as you guys can see constricting getting very very tight and then we had that run up and then we also have the bands constricting getting very very tight we have this run up here green macd green macd and that's exactly what is happening right now so this is what i'm expecting for amc stock due to technical analysis the bars pattern and the fundamental data saying that a major squeeze is coming with the cost of borrow shooting up and going down like that failure to deliver is going on us being back on the threshold security list and short interest at all time highs is all pointing to a short squeeze as well as fundamentals improving making short thesis obsolete destroying the short thesis in the process beating earnings all of those good things we've already seen gme have a massive move to the upside when it beat earnings that one time so we could see what happens if amc becomes cash flow positive or cash positive so we can see what that happens for us and maybe see a massive front to the upside so all of these things are indicative of a major short squeeze a massive move coming as well as this breakout of the falling wedge as you guys can see we've been in a two-year downtrend falling wedge and the breakout of that which i've done before takes us to or at around all time high so what you want to do to get the breakout target is you take the high from the low and that will give you your breakout target for all time highs on amc stock so go ahead and take your high to your low then that take you to the tip of your falling wedge and that gives you your breakout target for your falling wedge and that will show us that we're at or near around all time highs for amc stock so this is what i'm looking at for amc stock multiple confirmations showing us that we are at or near a major run up for amc stock something is coming we have the bar pattern playing out candle for candle we have information telling us that adam aaron is no good the reverse stock split is no good but guys it is on delay until april 27th nothing can happen till april 27th and this counselor is not going to rush things the one thing that i got from doing research and looking at this twitter file showing everything for the amc court case is that the counselor in charge of the case is not going to rush and all we need is time for this thing to play out and then a major move to the up side so i do think amc is a ticking time bomb i do think we have time i do think that they are trying to spread fud fear uncertainty and doubt by making ape drop down by um 
making AMC drop down, moving the price around, doing different things like that, and spreading FUD and all of those types of things, trying to shake us out of our positions. But we are going to hold and we are not going to let go until we see the MOA. So guys, we have multiple confirmations letting us know that something is coming for AMC stock. As you guys can see, that puts us at or around near all-time highs. Bollinger Bands getting very, very tight, constricting, and green weekly MACD. Last time we had those, we had this run up here, this run up here. I pulled a bars pattern from that first run up and got this, which has been playing out candle for candle, showing us that we're going to consolidate and have a nice move to the upside once we get to the edge or the tip of this falling wedge that we have been in and then see the breakout to the all-time highs which confirms with everything that i just showed you guys um that i was just showing you guys so we have the all-time highs we have this run up here and that's where i pulled the bar pattern from so if this continues to play out that means we consolidate and move to the upside even more after this run up so i believe something huge is coming for amc stock not financial advice all of it correlates with the breakout of the falling wedge with what i'm seeing on the technical analysis with what we're seeing with the fundamental analysis and the fundamental data and guys here is more proof once again that adam aaron is no good he is not on our side and it's time for apes to wake up because you have to know the rules the game to be able to play the game so that is why i put out this hard hitting information and i will continue to do so even though people are telling me they're un they're, un gonna, they're gonna unsubscribe and all of that stuff all because i'm telling the truth and i'm going to keep doing that it doesn't matter but guys that is the video hopefully you found it informative i know i did if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content remember you can find me on Di twitter and discord for even more data zero updates and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right guys that was the video hopefully you found it informative i know i did if you did go ahead and drop a like. And remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. And guys, I truly appreciate each and every one of you that watches the video to the end. It really does mean a lot to me. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out.